Hello, guys. Today we learn what is filters in SP.NET MBC5. We have requirement Visual Studio 2015, MBC5 version, and SQL Server 2012. Basically, filters are used to inject extra logic at different level of MBC framework request processing. SV.NET and MBC framework support four different type of filters and authentication filters are introduced with SV.NET MBC5. Let us see five type of filters in SV.NET MBC. First one is authentication filters. What is authentication filters? Authentication filters run before any other filter or action method Authentication, authentication confirms that you are a valid or invalid user. Action filters implement the I authentication filter interface. Second one is authorization filters. The authorization attribute and require HTTP attribute or example of authorization filters. Authorization filters are responsible for checking user access. They implement the I authorization filter interface in the framework these filters are used to implement authentication and authorization for controller action for example the authorized filter is example of authorization filters third one action filters action filter is an attribute that you you can apply to controller action or entire controller this filter will be called before and after after the action starts executing and after the action has executed action filters implement the i action filter interface that has two method on action executing and on action executed on action executed runs before the action give opportunity to cancel the action call. These filters contain logic that is executed before and after a controller action execute. You can use action filter for instance the modify the view data that a controller action returns. Fourth one is result filters. The output cache attribute class is example of result filters this implement the i result filter interface which like the i action filter has on result executing on result executed these filters contain logic that is executed before and after view result is executed like if you want to modify a view result right before the view is rendered to the browsers and fifth one action exception filters the exception filters in the handle error attribute class is example of exception filters. They implement the I exception filter interface and they execute if there are any handle exception through during the execution pipeline. These filters can be used and a exception filter to handle errors raised by either your controller action or controller action results. In details, how to implement these five filters by example, we'll see in next video. Thanks for watching. If you want to view more videos, please subscribe my YouTube channel.